Alrighty guys, so I'm confident enough that you have a general understanding of JavaScript. Uh, enough understanding that you'll be able to follow along to my how to make a JavaScript slideshow series of tutorials that I'm going to be making next. But before we get into that, I just want to talk about Ajax. And I'm sure you've heard of it. You might think it's a totally different programming language. It's not. It's really just JavaScript. And it stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML, but it's really just JavaScript. You know, asynchronous JavaScript and XML, what does that mean? Better yet, what does it do? Well, I'm glad you asked. The best way I could put it is it's really just JavaScript that changes web content automatically without having to reload the page. So, you know, when you're on Google search and you type in dog and it just starts firing stuff off right now because it's connecting with the server Google server and it's just trying to connect us with like the most related search we'll say dog toy now it's shooting this out this is Ajax just like this it's just JavaScript that's on the move we don't have to reload the page for this to change the page is still we're online and it's just adding new stuff another example of Ajax would be I'll go to Google Maps and let's just go ahead and type in San Diego, California. That's where we are. That's where I am. And just like this, so scroll in a little bit or zoom in a little bit and click on the map and drag it around. Well, the map isn't here. It's not all just here. Ajax is connecting and trying to keep up with us, trying to keep up with our cursor. So if we move it too fast, see kind of got a couple glitches. It's trying to keep up with it. This is Ajax. It's really just JavaScript. It's just connecting to the server and it's changing our web content live without us having to click on anything or roll. I mean, to in the past few videos for us to exercise our JavaScript, we've had to click on a button or we'd have to roll over fonts or we'd have to set it to on load. But with Ajax, you don't do it. It's just live. And the next couple videos, they're going to be, I mean, every video is optional, but I'm going to talk about Ajax and I'm going to write a couple uh, functions in Ajax, but I'm going to do a whole other series on Ajax. But I just want to give you guys a heads up that Ajax really is just JavaScript that talks to the server and the server just assumes what you're trying to do. And that's really just what Ajax is. All right, guys, good luck with this. And uh, maybe I'll see you in another video. If not, maybe I'll see you in the slideshow or the Ajax tutorial or... Uh, Maybe I'll see you around the old nursing home.